Zanzibar has a new wave of solar power technicians lighting up the islands, and most of them are women. For years, families in off-grid villages relied on smoky kerosene lamps that strained their eyes, choked their lungs, and were always one accident away from starting a fire. One mother described how the light was too dim for her eight children to study and the fumes made her eyes burn. And that changed when her neighbor, a newly trained solar technician, climbed onto the roof, installed a small panel, and wired in a few bright bulbs. Roughly half of Zanzibar's two million residents still aren't connected to the national grid. And filling that gap is Barefoot College International, which runs a campus on Unguja, the main island. They recruit women from remote communities, many of them widows or grandmothers with little formal education, and puts them through a six-month course to become, quote, solar mamas. They learn how to wire panels, connect batteries, and troubleshoot systems, then return home as the local experts. So far, these solar mamas have brought electric light to about 1,845 households, and that means kids can study at night, small shops can stay open longer, and families no longer have to budget for kerosene. Health workers say it also cuts the risks of lung damage, eye irritation, poisoning, and house fires tied to old lamps. The program doesn't stop with electricity. Barefoot College also trains women in tailoring, beekeeping, and sustainable agriculture and offers basic health education so graduates can share information on hygiene and disease prevention back in their villages. For some women, it's the first time they've had a steady income, a professional skill, and respect as problem solvers. But there are headwinds. International donors in the United States and Europe have cut back aid, leaving organizations like Barefoot fighting over a shrinking pool of money. And not everyone at home is supportive. Some husbands have refused to let their wives attend or work, challenging the idea of women climbing roofs and handling tools. This story fits a bigger pattern we have already seen in Zanzibar. In the seaweed industry, about 25,000 mostly female farmers are powering what has become the island's third largest economic sector after tourism and spices. From the tidal flats to the solar rooftop, Zanzibar's women are doing a huge share of the work that keeps households and the wider economy running. Independent media takes a lot of time and a lot of care, about four hours for every single story you see posted here. We don't have sponsors or big donors. All we have is that coffee affiliate link. So if you believe in the work that we are doing, please consider joining our community on Patreon, YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok, whatever is best for you. Your support helps us keep going, doing journalism for the people and not for profit.